a humble family car that can turn from beauty to beast within a fraction of a second. We are talking about the 2016 Volkswagen Golf R Wagon because as usual, Canvas is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. I'll be your host, Eric Wokabi, Eric with a CK. Follow me at a personal level on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and now even on uh, TikTok. Also, we value your feedback at Conversations. So tell us which other cars do you want to see on the channel? Conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram. untrained eye this might look like a normal Volkswagen Golf variant however it is not in fact it's something totally different this particular one is the Volkswagen Golf R wagon and it's based on the Golf Mark 7 uh, now the when it comes to the Golf Mark 7 there is the normal Mark 7 TSI there is the GTI and now there is the Golf R the Golf R is uh, the most superior of them all when it comes to power and performance but how do you tell the difference between a gti and a golf r the gti from the look of it has a wolverine claw marks on the sides of the bumper however the r is a bit subtle and the r has an r badge on the grill so those are part of the differences that you might note when you look at the gti and when you look at the golf r and most golf r's especially the variants or the wagons they came with this lapis blue color and i must say it really brings out the aspect of performance and elegance in this car this car is built to offer uh, practicality and performance is it's a car for the person who wants a family car and a car that they can have fun with on the track so let's check out what powers up the golf r and how different is it from the golf gti the other aesthetic difference before we talk about the engine between the golf r and the gti is that with the gti there is the red strip that uh, runs across uh, the nose but with the golf r it's a silver strip that even goes inside uh, the lights now the question might be why the golf r so r is the designation that uh, vw uses for the uh, performance oriented sub models and you have to differentiate the golf r or the r designation from the r line the r line is a trim level but the r is more of a sub model what powers up the golf r mark 7 it is the same engine uh, that is in the Golf uh, GTI, a uh, two liter EA three point turbocharged uh, four cylinder engine. Uh, however, this one has a difference because this one can push higher power figures compared to the one on the GTI. This one uh, on paper, it should put out around uh, 292 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque. Now the difference between this one and the one on the GTI is that this one has a modified cylinder head. It has uh, different uh, valve springs, different valves, and also modified modified exhaust valves you also have modified pistons on this so that it's able to push a higher power outputs uh, reliably power from this engine is transmitted to the wheels and this is another major difference between the gti and the r uh, through a dsg transmission uh, or a manual transmission the r is available mostly with the, either the dsg or uh, the manual transmission however this particular one comes with a dsg transmission however the difference between this dsg and the one on normal gold is that this one has an auxiliary oil cooling unit meaning uh, this gearbox is able to maintain you know optimum temperatures for performance without necessarily overheating and this tells you that these are more reliable uh, DSG transmission the other thing is that unlike the GTI that is front wheel drive this particular one is uh, all wheel drive or arguably four wheel drive the four wheel drive on this one is called the Haldex uh, four motion four wheel drive and there is one interesting thing about the Haldex uh, all wheel drive on this car is that and that thing is when you're coasting or when you're not uh, pushing too much uh, on this car it will actually run on two wheel drive but in case you need power 
quickly you can just thrash it and four wheel drive is engaged or all wheel drive is engaged but how is that possible now the Haldex uh, all wheel drive system has what is it's it's based on a, a coupling mechanism and now the coupling mechanism is run by an electro hydraulic pump so that when you thrash and the throttle picks up now the four wheel drive or the rear axle is engaged for performance lovers uh, the power that can be transmitted to the rear axle is almost 50% uh, so you can you're able to have 50 50 on the golf r the other thing about the golf r that you need to know to enable it to push harder compared to the gti is that it has a bigger turbocharger it also has a bigger intercooler meaning that you have uh, more cold air to enable you churn out more power from this power plant over here the 2016 R Mark 7 sits on size 18 uh, rims and tires and there is also another difference. The rim style or the rim pattern on the R is a bit different with that on the GTI. Maybe Mbugua can uh, do a side profile clip of the GTI review we did and uh, you will be able to see the difference in terms of the rim uh, pattern. There is also another striking difference uh, in terms of ground clearance. The R is 20 millimeters lower in terms of ground clearance compared to the GTI so it sits lower because it's a performance vehicle and you need a lower center of gravity remember the silver strip on the lights it also extends to the side mirrors and uh, the roof rails and why does this car have roof rails it's because it's a wagon and it has a longer wheelbase so that is that is why I told you it's not the Golf R variant it's the Golf R wagon but if it was a normal Golf then this would be a uh, Golf variant. So with the GTI, you do not get a wagon variant of it, but from 2015, we were able to get a Golf R wagon, which is the car that we are uh, reviewing today. And it's a car that can serve two worlds. It's a practical vehicle, it's a performance vehicle, and can also can be used as a normal uh, daily driver family uh, vehicle. One more thing about the R is that it has a dynamic uh, suspension. Uh, the GTI also has that. It's called the DCC, the Dynamic Chassis Control. So DCC has three major modes that uh, tweak the suspension setup, and that is the normal mode, the comfort mode, and the race mode. So the most important mode when it comes to the R, because the R is a performance vehicle, is the race mode. So what does race mode do? Race mode stiffens the suspension and makes the car more more adhesive to the road. The other thing it does is it tweaks the shifting of the DSG gearbox to help you get more power and torque and also improves uh, throttle response. So when you want to have fun with this car, you switch it to race mode eh? but when you're driving around the highway you can either use normal or comfort and uh, now when it comes to the driving modes and not the the ones that tweak the suspension you also have eco when you want to save fuel and you see all these modes are what make this car very versatile a car that can be used for daily driving and also a track vehicle there is one more thing that can uh, assist you differentiate uh, an R wagon from a normal Golf variant and I'll show you as we head to the rear. Our wagon is the same length as the Golf variant. So it's a practical car, it's spacious, it has a huge boot space. And now let me tell you about that thing I was telling you. If you look at a normal uh, Golf variant, it has one exhaust tip. If you look at a GTI, it has two exhaust tips. But if you're looking at a Golf R hatchback or wagon, then it has four exhaust tips. However, there is uh, a catch. In spite of the fact that it has four individual exhaust tips, only two actually work. So the other two are fake. Anyway, it's just an aesthetic cue to show you that this is a performance-oriented model. So, when you look around, you might not see the reverse camera on this car, but it's tucked in under this lock. So when you reverse, you, it actually pops up here and you're able to have a wide angle view of where you're reversing. In terms of practicality, uh, you do not have an actual electric tailgate, but you don't need that in an R, but it's actually a practical performance vehicle with ample boot space meaning you can haul a lot of luggage when you're going for that trip with your family and also when you're not hanging out with your family you can also take it to the track and actually have fun with this car and that is what makes the golf r and the golf r wagon 
very, very special. And right here, you have the R badge. So one thing to note, you do not have the TSI badge here. <laughs> you only have the R. And that, that should tell you that this is not a car that you're supposed to mess with on the road in spite of the fact that it looks like a humble family car. Let's check out the interior and then we can have a drive with the boys and see how this car accelerates. Inside the Golf R wagon, typically it does look a lot like the GTI, but there are a few things that will, you know, uh, reach out to your eye that this is a Golf R. Number one is the leather seats, uh, bucket seats to be specific, with the R badges on them. Also, the steering wheel has an R badge, but the most conspicuous of things are the pointers in the cluster that carry the uh, lapis blue from the outside to the inside. So these are some of the design cues that will assist you know that this is actually an actual Golf R. The other thing, but this is an R wagon. Eh? Since this is an a wagon, from uh, the nose to the B pillars, it's a typical Golf R hatchback, but with a variant orientation. But remember, you do not call this an R variant. You call this an R wagon. If it was a normal uh, Golf TSI, then it would be a uh, a variant but this is a golf r wagon other things that are common in the vw lineup is the mib2 infotainment system uh, it features uh, normal things bluetooth apple carplay and android auto on the infotainment system it also has a very good uh, sound system it's actually decent to listen uh, to music on the steering, Kama Kawaida on a 2016 vehicle will have steering controls and paddle shifters, especially for a car that is uh, sports oriented. Another thing that you have to, to note is the, uh, I told you about the uh, dynamic chassis control. Now you can switch between a normal mode, comfort mode and race mode from this button over here. The major difference between this and the hatchback is that it's way more practical. It has a longer wheelbase. Uh, the legroom is quite cramped up. However, it has a very huge boot space. Eh? The other unique thing about the R wagon are these seven inch screens over here that you can use to watch a movie when you're driving or when you're chilling or even watch a music video because even the sound system on the R is very good. And so it's a practical uh, performance car and that is what makes this car very unique for somebody who wants a car for the family and also a car that you can have fun with on the track or on the road before we take this car for a drive eh, most performance cars have a limited slip differential but the golf r does not have that so what it has it's something it's a system that mimics a limited slip differential but works through a brake actuator now that is called the xds plus or x yeah xds plus so what it does it uses a brake actuator to uh, apply brakes to the wheels at spin and uh, more torque to the wheels uh, at grip so this helps you not lose power or through wheel spin uh, so it might not be a limited slip differential but it works in uh, more or less the same way now let's take this car for a drive with the boys go Yes. Uh, welcome to Conversations uh, Team Review. Mm -hmm. Now, Leo, we are in a perform modern cars. Yes. Modern cars. <laughs> anyway, we are in a performance car. Yes. A car that looks like a humble family car, but can turn from beauty to beast mm -hmm. within the fraction of a second. Hey. He got in the Golf R wagon. Yes. Yeah. Hey. When you are Mark 7, yeah. uh, the other Mark 7 is a hatchback. Uh -huh. But this one is a, a wagon. wagon. And you remember there's a video we did on differences between a wagon, wagon and a hatchback. hatchback. So yes. now this one is a full wagon. wagon. 
yes. A, a pillar, B, C, B pillar, C, and D pillars. Perfect. Yes, it's also a long, longer wheelbase, mm -hmm. but uh, it's more or less the same as the hatchback wagon R. Mm -hmm. It's based on the Golf Mark 7. Yes. Uh, but now this is R is the designation that VW uses to identify the high performance vehicles. Hey. But uh, it's good to differentiate between R and R line. Yes. R line is a trim level. A trim. Ah. R is more or less a model or a sub model. Okay. Yeah. Just like the way we M, say M, M. It's like M in BMW. And R design in, in Volvo. Volvo. Ah, perfect. Yes. Perfect. Of the batch will be, I think, as you said, best on the Mark 7. So everything happened and for me coming from a Mark 7 that we reviewed the other time. The GTI. The GTI. Yeah. I feel I'm having the same almost the same things. The only, I can't see anything big different. Uh, the only cues now na kidogo kidogo ni kama effect carbon fiber. He sends a ibona. Tell this sense we are we are, we, are we are reviewing. We drive cars that don't have seat belts <laughs> and they don't have airbags. Airbags. <laughs> <laughs> they make like, like real men. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. There was something that yes, you were saying. I wanted to tell you. Eh? Yes. The major difference because because you see the R yes. is on top of the GTI ah. when it comes to the VW food chain or or hierarchy of superiority. Yes. Sir. So this is the most superior. Uh -huh. uh, so this one, uh -huh. the major, it's more or less a GTI yes. in the inside, yes. but you have R badges on the seat, uh -huh. and most Golf R's came in uh, lapis blue. Uh -huh. This color that we have on this it's called car. Lapis Blue. Lapis Blue. Hey. And uh, you see it has carried forward the blue in the exterior. Yes, the pointers. Uh, yeah, in the speed hey, It looks, nice. it looks nice. awesome. I, 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 I tend to, 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 to acknowledge that at night probably it will light up even much brighter and better. The blue aspect of mm. being an R. Hey, Wokabi, this one. But I will say one thing, Wokabi. There is a significant amount of very cheap plastic. That one we can agree with you. Even though it is rugged cheap. I don't know how to put it. You know the plastic. Now this is the plastic that is on this car. Then I'm complement as some satin black finish that is glossy with fake carbon fiber. Small leather uh, yeah, the seats are leather. They're not They're bucket seats. But let me ask you guys one yes, question. Sir. Yes sir. Why do you need fancy stuff in a race car? It is 2023. I, I want to race and feel nice no, at the same time. I also think the reason why they put the plastic was to make the car more light. lighter. Lighter! Yeah, lighter, Bana. Okay, lighter. there you guys win. But still, <laughs> for the amount of money I'm spending, they should have put some few leather points somewhere on the dash. Forget the seats. Ibrahim, do you know how much a rally car costs? And it's expensive. basic as hell. So, and then, as you, co you continue telling me about rally cars, look at my seat. What am I doing, Okabi? Ah, look at mine. What is this, Okabi? Mine is electric. Ah, mine is electric. I know he was electric. So. Because this is a driver's car. But I In fact, when I finally have a family, yes. this is the car I want to have. So, that's why I'm going to have a Why are they punishing us for you to enjoy the car? Because eh? it's supposedly my car. <laughs> But mm. the design of you see how Okabi has electric and new manual. Yes. It has been carried in almost all VWs if you've noticed. You remember even the Touareg you complaining that yeah, 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 you're yeah. doing the manual and he's doing the electric. So I think it's been carried down on most of the cars. But we need to agree, Okabi, if there is a premium version of this, then I will get some better functionalities, right? Well, mm -hmm. um, oh, this is it. This, this one, no. <laughs> the R is not meant to be fancy. Okay. Before you give us the figures, the numbers, and the, the, the things you love about this car. Okay. Yes. Let us have Bugwa tell us how does it feel to actually be on the rear seats, Bugwa? Yeah, here on the rear seats. Yes. I must say this is a sports car. I don't, I don't mind it. As, at a quick crumple that I don't care. I don't. If you're sitting here, here in the rear, it's yes. your own problem with your tall legs. Yeah. But for me, it's, okay, it's a bit cramped, cramped up here behind. Mm. But for a tall person, for a tall, for a tall person, person. Yes. but for me, who is uh, I don't know, 5'2, um, me, I'm short, me, I won't lie like some people. No, uh, in fact, in Bugwa, uh, I know for me, I will not, not be like... comfortable, I will not be comfortable because <laughs> I'm 6'2, so I will not be comfortable. <laughs> but for <laughs> Bugwa, yes, 6'2, 6'2 on all levels, fire, uh, 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 uh. yes, my brother, anyway, yes, sir. Give uh, us the numbers. The numbers. Yes. This, this is a car that is meant for performance. Mm -hmm. 
Now, here's the thing. Yes. It runs on the same motor that is on the GTI, the mm -hmm. EA Triple Eight. Yes. However, mm -hmm. this one has been tweaked better. Mm -hmm. It has modified uh, modified cylinder head. Yes. It has. Uh, apart from that, what is what else is different from the engine on the GTI mm -hmm. is the valve seats, the valves, the exhaust valves as well, mm -hmm. the pistons. Yes. VW people know pistons. Yes. Very well. Yeah. So even the pistons are, <laughs> are better yes. superior compared to the ones in the GTI. Yes. Also, this one has a bigger turbo mm -hmm. and a bigger intercooler. Wow. So so so, so what you're saying, Okabi, in summary is there is an improvement in terms of quality checks in terms of reliability on this one. Exactly. There is a chance that you can survive more on this one than than the GTI or the normal golf. TSI. Interesting. Interesting stuff, Okabi. Talk figures. Figures. Power figures. Figures, power figures. Uh, this car, if you round it off, yes. it should give you around 300 horsepower mm -hmm. and 380 Newton meters of torque. Wow. However, chill up, Okwanza. Chill up, Okabi. That is what we call a balance. Balance. And anytime we've gotten a car that has that close gap balance, unajuanga ni mambo bad. Yes, but now there is an interesting thing. Yes. There were some uh, hot hot weather variants. Yes. For example, the ones for the Middle East, for Australia, yes. for Japan and some regions of the US. Yes. Yeah, so the, it's argued that this so we can argue that this one depending on market can produce between 296 yes. to 300 horsepower. Yes. Yeah, but the actual figure, mm. the actual figure to work with would be around 296 horsepower. Ah. And 380 newton meters of torque. Yes. Power is transmitted to the wheels through a Haldex mm -hmm. for motion for wheel drive system. Hey. Hey. <laughs> DSG. DSG. Mm -hmm. But now there is also a difference between this DSG and the one in the GTI and the normal Golfs. Talk, talk to us about it. This one has an auxiliary oil cooler unit. Ah. Yeah. So that makes it efficient in terms of cooling. Yes. When you are resting or when you are doing when you are enjoying the track, there is one more thing. Yes, you know that my friend. Yes. So when I, am, this car, I am ready for zero to hundred. <laughs> <laughs> when this car is um, is saving fuel, yes. When you are coasting and you are not under load, yes. It does not use all wheel drive. Ah. It disconnects the rear axle. It becomes front wheel. Drive. Yes, and uh, that is through uh, what is called the Haldex uh, coupling. Uh -huh. So it it's run by a hydroelectric pump. Uh -huh. So it can disconnect the rear axle, but when you accelerate, you demand power. Yes, it just connects all wheel drive system. Ah, yeah, that ah. is why it's argued that this could be a four wheel drive system and yes. not an actual all wheel drive system. So, another thing about this car, yes, it the has special some, thing, the special you... thing, yes, but this is also in the GTI. Yes, it has something called the dynamic chassis control. Yes, so it has three driving modes, uh -huh. but most of them are suspension oriented. Yes, you have uh, comfort mm -hmm. when you want to save fuel, yes, you have um, normal mm -hmm. for normal highway driving, yes, and then when you want to have fun with the car, you have race mode. Hey. So what race mode does, yes. it stiffens up the steering wheel, uh -huh. stiffens up the suspension to make the car more adhesive to the road yes. and also improves uh, throttle response uh -huh. and tweaks the gearbox to more, you know, to better and more sporty shifting. Me, I'm just waiting for 0 to 100. <laughs> so you do 0 to 100? <laughs> yes, my friend. Sa, sa. I, am, I, am, I, am, I am tired of this one. <laughs> Okay, be ready? Yes, you I'm ready. ready. Yeah. But but before we start, yes, sir. I need to give these guys a disclaimer. Uh -huh. This is a performance car. Yes. It has a launch procedure. Yes. Uh, we know how to go about the procedure, but we are not going to launch this car because it's a showroom vehicle. Yes. And we are not allowed to do some of these things with mm. showroom vehicles because they are going to be sold to someone yes. and uh, you might launch it and something goes wrong yeah. or uh, well the showroom might not be very happy with us uh, aggressively driving this car perfect so yes. you're just going to do a normal test normal zero test. to 100, zero to 100 like any other car yeah Perfect. Because again, you can't launch this car off traffic lanes. You are right. Yes. So what you are going to do is just going to put it in rest mode. Yes. That we launch. That we launch. No. That no, we okay, launch. No, okay. That we that zero to hundred. Zero to hundred. Perfect. Kawaida. Let's do Sasa. this, my brother. Let's do it. You are ready? Um, I'm ready. Mm. So we put it in the sporty most mode. Yes. And that is rest mode. Mm. 
Bugua uh, can you see everything from there? Yes. So we just go to mode mm -hmm. and uh, select race. Yes, sir. So now we are in race. Yes, sir. Are you ready to move? Yes, sir. One, two, three. When you're ready, walk out. You know this car can do it can do better than that. Can yes. Do but I think yes, sir. it's supposed to do five to six. But one thing with these DSGs yes. is that launching them is not a walk in the park. Yes. I wish it had launch control, but this one we don't have so, launch control. So one. can we keep this one? This car ideally yes. should be able to hack um, five to six. Five to six? Yes. So we but have lost three seconds. But definitely okay, we understand one. Uh, one, uh, we have equipment, filming equipment at the boot. Yes. So weight, definitely. Terrain, definitely. So always, as we have done on other cars. Three seconds. Three, two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. two seconds. So if we do two seconds from that, we have a six. We have, we have, a, have six. a six. So it's, it's, it's okay. So we are it's good. It's perfect. So to, the team score will copy. Team score? Yes. If you're buying this car, mm -hmm. competition for this would be the Golf R hatchback. Yes. Which is more or less the same car. Yes. But I find this one more versatile. Uh -huh. um, the other car that you may be looking out for is yes. the Audi. Um, which which Audi is it? The A4 or the A6 Avant? The A6 the Avant. Even the even even the F5. Even the F5. I think huh? the F5. The F5, it's called the C what? Is it the C5 or what? Yeah, the, the, the Avant. Yes, the Avant. The exactly. Avant, yeah. 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 So I, I think in the Kenyan With, market... Are, and, is, and, and the Audi F5 has... Uh, does it have the, the, the V6 engine or the SQ5? Uh, Supercharged, yes. I think, yes. There should be that engine. There should option. be that option. Now, that will be a better to this one. But, but this, in the Kenyan market space, yes. I think the competition for this is Subaru. Subaru yeah. Livok. Yes. But honestly speaking, yes. this would thrash the Subaru Livok yes. in the morning. Forget even the morning. Before the morning. Before morning. <laughs> 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 eh? Yes, but sir. Now I think that the only place with difference in the Livok is the price point. Yeah. Yeah, this one is more pricey. This is a Definitely. pricey car. It's Definitely. a pricey car. Uh, Bugua. Yes. What team score? Team score. Team First score team score of 2023. <laughs> yeah, but no, this is our second. Is yes, our second, second team score. Team second score. team score. Team score. So for me, this one will score a nine, solid nine. Uh huh. The power that this car has, the looks. Man, this car, I feel it looks better. Uh -huh. The the hatchback, it has this, and the way the fact that it's, it's a hidden animal. You can just swallow than when I put a two of your obvious. Anonymity. I, <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> so for me, this car is score nine. Ibrahim, yes, sir. what do you think? Uh, for me, I think uh, people tend to say it's either I'm giving it an eight or a nine point eight. <laughs> <laughs> so today, what car before this car has to offer and what this car does, uh, as you said, I think this is a family car that turns from the beauty. You see, like right now, we are in what we call normal mode. Normal mode. Uh, we are driving, you have your kids here, in a mambo mingi. Uh, it's just a normal car. You will mistake it for a very normal car. Yeah. But when you need it, when those boys with the Mark X. attenders come along, the, uh, 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 the diesel ones, they <laughs> come, they try you. You tell them, boys, you want to try me. <laughs> You will uh, you give them 30 minutes to go and then you follow them. <laughs> you, you catch, you yes. catch <laughs> so for me, I think I'll be with, I'll, I'll be with Bugo on this one. I think I'll give it a 9.5. I'll mm -hmm. be slightly above Bugo. One, I feel that VW have improved the reliability on this one by giving it an extra cooling system. Oil uh, cooler, so, yes. Oil cooler. So for me, that is a plus. I think they know where the weakness are. Um, number two, the engine, as you said again, it's a pretty solid engine that has been tuned. It has been used in different platforms that has been functional. Yes. Until now, to take one of those stories, uh, uh, my piston could fly all over. Exactly. As you say, this one has been... It has a modified cylinder. Head. Exactly. Yeah. So for me, I think a 9.5 for this car. I think this is the only VW that I've sat in that has gotten the 9.5 from Chairman Ibrahim Tolo himself. And I will give it to you, my brother. Now, let me tell you something. Yes. Guys perceive that I hate V-dubs. Eh? Yes. But this one, mm -hmm. 
I'll give it a 9.7 hey. because of performance. Yes. You know, people say that <laughs> that cars, VWs, okay, we say, and it's true. Yes. VWs are very unreliable cars. Very. Very unreliable. But these ones. Especially one, once they hit high mileage. High mileage. Yeah. Now, for this one, mm. for this uh, particular Golf R, yes. uh, it's it's a very versatile vehicle. It's a family car. It's a sleeper. It does not shout its presence like Subarus and other cars. Yes. Um, the other thing is that, uh, okay, apart from the price tag being a bit too high because it's going for 4.2 million yes um i feel that this car deserves a 9.7 mm -hmm. because it is a performer and it can blend into two environments yes a car that will save fuel mm -hmm. and a car that will take you from uh, nil to 100 within a fraction of a second it's also very practical, practical. yeah it has a yeah. very huge boot space a very huge boot space mm -hmm. it's actually um practical performance yeah and that is where this car scores very highly and to get this kind of performance yes i don't care about the unreliability <laughs> <laughs> you, you, die, you die you die you die you die so 9.7 <laughs> wakabi plus yes. 9.5 plus, plus mbugwa 9 mbugwa is the lowest 28.2 i do not think there's any other v that will there's score no higher there is no v that will score higher than this one sour wakabi take us to value for money no i i think let's go and do value for money yes. yes let's do value for money thank you let's talk about value for money so the golf r is way more expensive than the normal golfs and so is the R wagon it's way more expensive compared to the normal golf variant the wagon will set you back around 4.2 million kenya shillings if you buy from motorhub but i must say this is a very niche car it's a car for enthusiasts it's anybody buying an r knows what they are buying so the price tag should not really be an issue so if you're looking for a performance car that will serve both as a family car and also a practical wagon the golf r is the answer to your question i've been your host uh, the canvasologist himself eric okabi eric udasika and we hope that this has been an insightful review we value your feedback follow us or share your sentiments on our social media channels conversations on facebook twitter and instagram also remember to subscribe to the channel and remember we also offer services such as sourcing vehicles for you pre-purchase inspection and also consultation <music>